We're out here tonight and it is freezing and we have young fellas, young girls, grannies and mothers. Could you tell me why they're out here tonight? Well people are out tonight while they, they highlight political policing. The entire community came out to show their disgust at the behaviour of elements, not the whole PSNI as a force, but elements within the PSNI who seemed who seemed to be committed to uh, victimising people in this community, harassing people in this community, oppressing people in this community. I think there's an agenda certainly by elements within the PSNI to harass Tigers Bay as a whole. People in this community don't want to do a PR stunt for the peace process. People here want to live. If, if I was to take you around this community now, Willie, you'd see social deprivation. You'd see a community struggling, a community on its knees, people trying to survive. And at the end of the day, the PSNI, elements within the PSNI seem adamant that, that they're going to hold this community on its knees and they're going to dictate how this community should be run. Well, I've certainly I've sat around for a couple of hours tonight and I've watched before this started and the police were continually driving about. They were parked all over the place and it seemed to be a situation whereby Tigers Bay is now a mobile police station for them. That they just come and go and park on people's doorsteps to aggravate and try to uh, intimidate the local community. That's my opinion from outside. They're saying about criminality. They're saying about drugs. They're saying people are involved in... Uh, terrorism. There's no terrorists in the Protestant communities in North Belfast. We know where the terrorists are. They're sitting in the New Lodge. They're sitting in Ardoin. They're sitting in places like EO Park. Well, because I think, you know, it's, it's here today. Where's it going to be tomorrow? Where are they going to choose tomorrow to start to uh, go in and, and, and pull on people's houses apart for no better reason than just to annoy them and to intimidate them? You know, who are we going to annoy the night? Who do, uh, to me, it's if, it, if this is intelligence laid, it just shows now the intelligence uh, test. They must have to fail it now to get into the PSNI if this is intelligence laid. Well, if it's intelligence laid, I believe their intelligence has come from the Republican community. And is any wonder that there are asking people in the loyalist community because uh, apparently, if somebody rings up and makes one, two phone calls, that justifies a raid on a Protestant's home. But if you're a member of Sinn Fein, you could fire a rocket out through your back door and they wouldn't raid uh, your house. Yeah. Is that the feeling of the Protestant community down here? Absolutely. You know, we don't, we don't have to go too far from this spot here to uh, to find where recently, uh, as you say, a rocket was fired at the PSNI and Loyalists. Uh, nail bomb fired at Loyalists. They don't chase the, 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 the perpetrators of these crimes. or They'd rather beat the, the Loyalists and to push them back. You know, for, why should we have to be beaten off the street because they don't want to chase somebody that's got a rocket or a nail bomb? What reason is it that they do not want to chase these people? Why do they not want to arrest these people? The reason we're here is to exercise our democratic right to protest against what we feel is political policing in the area. Do you believe the police have been heavy handed down here? I believe the police are uh, carrying out agendas set by people outside of the police force. They have made political deals with other groupings and have no understanding of what is actually happening in North Belfast and are using heavy handed tactics because they don't know any better and don't know exactly what they're doing. Would you say that this has started more so from uh, certain elements have been removed out of this area who are very pro-Republican and uh, very pro the whole peace or appeasement process? Undoubtedly it started then and of course it started then because any group that takes over or any group that changes slightly people panic and lose control. Those who thought they could control the areas, the likes of the police and the rest, who thought they had basically a working relationship and control of the area, then panicked when groups went out. And they took the word of gangsters and criminals over the word of the ordinary people. And at that point it all went downhill. The police, it's like uh, the 12th of July down here with the police. There's more policemen driving about Tigers Bay than there is in the whole of County Armagh. Why? Is it a safe area for police? Is that what this has become? Let's go in and harass Protestants in a Protestant community. Let me tell you something. In South Armagh, hundreds of millions of pounds is being stolen off the British Exchequer. They're blowing themselves up by planting bombs, going up poles or coming down poles. They're dumping waste on the roads. 
costing thousands of pounds for the taxpayer to clean up. And the police are hitting a house here with six and eight Land Rovers and they're finding one joint. Now, I don't agree with drugs, but one joint. You know, that's one cigarette, the equivalent of one cigarette. That's what they found. In South Amma, I drove about for two hours and I couldn't find one policeman. And all the scum of the earth is in South Amma. The criminality going on, the terrorism going on, the godfathers are going on, uh, running the show from there along with Sinn Féin and there's not a policeman to be seen. Come to Tigers Bay and they're beating down doors of pensioners at 70 and 80 years of age, people who's terminally ill. It's time somebody got a grip of this. They talk about community policing. This is not community policing. This is Republicans in police uniform. This is the way this looks. And if somebody doesn't get a grip of it, there's coming a time when the Protestant community will turn on the police. God forbid that that happens. But if somebody doesn't get a grip of what's going on here in Tigers Bay, that's what will happen.